Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the series of Python for Beginners. So as promised in the last video, we are going to talk about the roadmap today that we are going to follow. And here we are. So the first thing would be the Python installation. So we'll tell you how to download it, how to install it, and what are the configuration that you need to do in your system. We'll do everything from scratch, so don't worry about it. Second, we'll discuss what are the strings and how to declare them, what are the operations that are done on that, and with variables. So how to define a variable and how to use it in a system. And then we'll talk about math and numbers. How do we do math operations on it? How do we define the numbers? How do we take values on it? And how do we do operations on that? We are going to discuss. After that, we're going to talk about the conditionals and the Boolean. So in the Boolean, we are talking, talking about uh, the true, the false, and how to take values. And on the conditional, we'll talk about what is greater than, what is less than, not equal to, equal to, and all the other operations that are possible on it. After that, we'll talk about functions as I've said that functions is a, is a backbone of any kind of program or any kind of script. You have to learn functions in, in order to do that. So we'll talk about the functions, how to declare the functions, how to make a call to a function, what are the operations that you can do inside of functions and there are n number of possibilities that you can do in a function. Once done, we'll move to the list, how to declare a list, what are the values that you can put inside a list, how do we traverse a list, how do we talk to a list and how do we take the values from it and all the other operations possible. After that, we'll do the same thing with the dictionaries. How do we declare them? What is the declaration syntax? We'll talk about the syntax for everything. After that, taking values, putting values, deleting values and accessing the values. We'll do everything. After that, tuples. Some people say tuples, a few people say tuples. We'll say tuples. How do we declare that? How to use that? And how do we do operations on tuples? That's what we'll learn in this course. And the next step in the roadmap would be the files. We'll talk about the files, different types of files in which we do the operations, how to create, how to delete, how to do other operations that are possible on the files. For example, a Python file has an extension, something like py, and we are going to talk about that as well. We'll let's not, not, not go deep inside right now. We'll talk about that, but just from the 10,000 feet overview, you can see that we'll talk about the files and on the operations side. After that, the last topic would be modules and we'll play around the Python library. What is the Python library? How to import stuff? What are the modules that are available over here and how to use them? So these are the topics that we are going to talk about in this complete course. We'll try to make everything in, in a lucid way so that you guys can understand almost everything. And if you have any questions on this, you can uh, write down below. And if you want to add anything which is extra, I can add that as well at the end of the course and I can include in the roadmap. So I hope this is everything this is clear to you. So there is one thing that I have not included in it in the roadmap because um, which is right now the interview part. So I'll collect a lot of questions on that. What 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 is generally asked in an interview in a in a like if even if you are a fresher or in a first year or a second year, you have started just learning the Python. So I'll prepare a course for that as well, like something like 30 days of code of 30 days of Python programming, something like that, so that you guys can at least have a command on a few questions that can come inside your, uh, that can be asked in an interview, uh, even if you are an SRE, even if you are a dev, anything that that will help you throughout your career. So I hope you have understood everything. Feel free to comment below and what needs to be included more, what you want to learn. And I'll see you in the next video.